Hey, what is up guys? It's confirmed, finally. All right, so let's talk about it because I'm sure you guys have been waiting for a little bit. After Yanagi, after that, we're gonna get lighter. We're gonna get Harumasa and Miyabi in the next version. So let's talk about Miyabi because a lot of people have been talking a lot about her and this is going to be the speculation that she's going to be extremely strong, extremely broken, and back then, if you play the beta for ZZZ, Zelazon Zero, you are able to play her in the first beta as far as I know. So finally, the drip marketing has come out. So let's see what is she all about. All right, so um, very, very cool. Section six, prepare for battle. Okay, so Hoshimi, Miyabi. Now, if you guys are thinking, all right, who you want to pull for ETC, um, right now, all right, if you guys are not aware, Yanagi has just, uh, the banner, her banner just started two days ago, right? If you pull for Yanagi, I feel like if you are free to play, you probably won't have enough if you want to pull for Miyabi, all right? You, you, um, you will have enough if you skip lighter. I don't know if Harumasa will come first or in the second, you know? Like, you know, it's kind of like, most likely, they did tease Harumasa first, to be fair. So there's that. So this is something that we all need to be aware of right now. So Miyabi, what is she all about? So first things first, all right? So this is going to be the very important part. You guys can see right here. I'm going to zoom in for you. Let's look at the symbol, all right? Extremely straightforward. That is a symbol that we haven't seen in a while. Um, she is going to be an anomaly character. All right, so we're gonna go into Yanagi. Oh shoot, we're gonna go into Yanagi right here. So you can see this symbol right here, right? The the like radioactive symbol right there. But this symbol right here, what is that? What is that element? You may ask. Now, if you look in the game right now, we actually do not have that element so let's zoom in on ellen joe which is the ice type so the ice element this is going to be the symbol i'm going to put it side by side so we can see this uh for ourselves so it seems to um it feels like that is going to be a new element all right so again we're going to bring up miyabi so this is going to be ice so let's put this side by side you guys can see this element right here is different than ice so does this mean that we're going to have a new element altogether? Man, I I'm really excited for this because it's like uh, seeing a new element come into the game. It's kind of interesting in my humble opinion. That means it's going to be very unique to her. Now, uh, there are some speculation. All right, I wouldn't be opposed to if this is a combination of two different elements. But I doubt it. I think it's just going to be one whole a new element on its own, right? So, I think the speculation for Miyabi being ice anomaly kind of um, nerves me a little bit because I love Ellen Joe, right? Ellen Joe, I'm a big fan of her, uh, one of my favorite characters in the game, and I don't want Ellen Joe to get power creep. And I guess part of me feels a little bit glad. Wow, she's not going to get, she's not gonna, Miyabi is not gonna power creep uh, Ellen Joe because she's not going to be an anomaly ice. So in this case, we have a totally new element. Very, very interesting. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Because like, whew, I don't even know where to begin, right? Uh, this is going to put Miyabi in a very high or pretty much a must pull kind of situation because if she's the only one that has this, whatever this element is, then wouldn't she be a must pull? It doesn't even matter like, it, it doesn't even matter what element this is, but if she's the only one that has it, it increases her pull value drastically, right? Because in right now, if you look at uh, a lot of the other options that we have in the game, uh, I guess Ice is also kind of there, right? Because we only have uh, a couple of damage dealer. I'm going to assume that Miyabi is a damage dealer. I, I don't think she's going to be a supporter. I think it'll be kind of crazy if she is. But if you look at a lot of options that we have, physical, we have quite a number of uh, damage dealers already. Uh, Ito, we have Zuyan. Ice, we have uh, Ellen Joe, right? And then I guess Soldier 11 for fire, or Bernice can somewhat be a fire as well. Uh, electric, we have as well. Uh, is there any element in the game that don't have a 
uh, a damage dealer yet? I don't think so, right? I think every single uh, character in the game already has a DPS character. So, I don't know. I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing that Ellen Jo can stay in the meta for a little bit. And if you need an ice DPS, she will still be the go-to. Now, I don't think this is going to be um, anything crazy, but man, I, I am like kind of surprised, kind of surprised that Miyabi is just out there, bam, appearing out of nowhere. And this is going to be kind of crazy and people are like comparing. Uh, definitely, it is going to most likely be a new type of element. So let's look at the remaining stuff uh, that we can gather. Is there any hint of this to be a new element, right? Because uh, at this point, what is she, what will she be able to do, right? I got a good boss, the job might be worthwhile after all, okay. Yeah, I guess Miyabi is the boss, right? What day are we on? The boss determining melon content by eating melon products training program. Oh, I didn't know Miyabi likes melon. Uh, oh yeah, Zuyan and Miyabi know each other. Uh, if you guys read the story, right? Uh, they did hinted it before. The way she speaks might be difficult to understand, but it's not as bad as the rumor suggests. Okay. And that, that's the Miyabi interaction right there. Uh, is there any hint right here? I'm trying to find if there's a hint right here. I guess no hint. Um, Very, very interesting. Yeah, there's just no hint for what the element could be. I guess it's going to be something like a spirit element or something, right? I guess if we count the number of buffs, uh, I mean the number of elements in the game, it also kind of makes sense because we only have five elements. Physical, fire, ice, electric, physical, fire, ice, electric, and ether, right? So I think like, I think this is supposed to, I guess fire and ice is supposed to be the opposite, and then physical and electric. And then ether and whatever this is going to be is like a opposite of each other. Something like, I think this is going to be like a, you know, spirit or something, right? Something like a light and dark kind of thing. I find this very fascinating to a certain extent. But also at the same time, what is going to be her best supporter, right? Because like everyone in the team somewhat have a dedicated supporter. Because it could be good, but it also could be bad in a way. Because like, that means if you pull for her, you are basically, uh, for now, she's still an anomaly character, right? Which is good. That means the best pair with her, I think, right? The best team that you can build her with is probably going to be Bernice. You have like, assuming she's main DPS, right? You probably put her with Bernice and then something like Seth pretty much until we get like a dedicated uh, buffer of her element, which I'm not sure if that's going to ever happen. Or you can even use Lucy, I guess, just to buff her attack. But uh, so far for now, it doesn't really matter what her element is, but we are aware of how anomaly characters work. Generally, they tend to um, they tend to need anomaly proficiency and attack. Most of the time, I don't think uh, they are going to convert her kit to make sure to like modify her to scale off crit rate or crit damage because that would be absurd, right? If you think about it. But yeah, Miyabi is confirmed in version 1.4. Wait, yeah, 1.4. But whether or not she's going to be the first half, or second half, we don't really know. So that's going to be something that is up for discussion and debate. They did show Harumasa first and then Miyabi later. So usually that tends to lead towards her being in the second, but if she's first, that means most players will have to skip lighter uh, if you want to get her at that is right? Uh, again, I don't know what you guys think, but overall, I guess this is a pretty cool news. I am very excited for her. Definitely will be pulling for her. Most likely will be skipping lighter. So yeah. Let me know what you guys think overall in the comment section below. As always, subscribe, give this video a like. I'll see you guys again in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye.